Hi everyone, I'm David and this is Wine Forecaster. Well, we're taking a break today from reviewing wine and instead we decided to start a series entitled How To. Um, we'll be developing the series over the next few months as we do our wine reviews, but we thought we'd start today with how to store your wine. There's a lot of different reasons to store wine. Probably the most common reason is just availability. If you come home from work or if you come home on the weekend and you want to cook dinner or you have some special occasion going on, instead of having to run to the store, you can just go into your cellar or you can go to wherever you happen to be storing your wine and you can pick out the appropriate bottle. Another reason that you might be storing wine or as we call it, cellaring your wine, uh, it might be for memorabilia's sake or perhaps there's a collect collectible value to it. Um, or maybe you happen to go to the Finger Lakes over the weekend and you visited five or six different wineries and you came home with a couple cases of wine. We're not going to consume those right away, so it's important to put those someplace where they'll be safe uh, from spoilage. So with that being said, why don't we get started and uh, learn how to store wine. One of the most important things to take into consideration when you're storing your wine is going to be temperature. Ideally, the proper temperature is going to be somewhere around 55 degrees. Um, we don't want to have the temperature too warm because that's going to accelerate the chemical processes within the bottle and it's going to cause degradation of the wine. Uh, so storing on your countertop probably isn't a good idea. A lot of people would think, well, why not just store it in the refrigerator because you could probably get somewhere close to you know, 50 degrees. But the problem is, well, you're going to run into low humidity. And if you're storing wine that has cork, that's going to dry out the cork and it's going to ruin your wine. So the refrigerator is probably the worst place to store your wine. Ideally, it's, it's nice to have a constant temperature, somewhere around 55 degrees. But if you're forced to store at 65, that's okay. Just try to keep the temperature the same throughout the year. Many of the other factors that you will need to consider when storing your wine can be demonstrated right here. The first of which is going to be humidity. Humidity is huge when it comes to storing wine. Uh, experts recommend the proper humidity for storing wine be between 60 and 70 percent. Now, you don't want to get too low because if you're below 50 percent, that's going to lead to a dried out cork. And that means air is going to pass through the cork and into the wine bottle and start to ruin your wine. And if it starts to get above 80 percent, well, you might see mildew and rot, and you certainly don't want that. The Second thing that we can see here is how to lay your wine. And it's important to keep your wine horizontal. And again, the reason why is to keep the cork moist. Now, some of the uh, winemakers are starting to bottle their wines with screw caps. And if that's the case, you don't need to worry about humidity or storing your wine. If it has a screw cap, you can store it straight up vertical. But if it does not, you've got to lay it down horizontal. Um, you want to maintain an area where it's going to be quiet and it's going to be dark. Light kills wine, so try to keep light away from it. Keep it still, don't touch it, leave it alone until it comes time to grab that bottle. So when we leave this wine cellar, we're going to turn the lights off. The walls are lined with uh, special sheeting. We'll have the air conditioner going back on in here, and it will maintain the right um, environment for storing wine. But what can we do in your basement or in your house to store wine? Let's go see. Not all wine gets better with age. Now, I know that isn't the famous statement that we've all, we've all heard, but you know, when you go to the wine store, about 95% of the wine that they're selling is ready for consumption as soon as you bring it home. So make sure that you consider that before you go out and spend a lot of money on building your next wine cellar. Now, you can do that, and you know, I would encourage you to, you know, enjoy the hobby of collecting it and learning about different kinds of wine and stuff. But here's a real inexpensive way that you can store your wine, especially if you're going to consume it in the next year or two. Now, when my wife and I moved into the house, this is where I put my wine. The northwest corner of my home, right in the basement. It's the coolest area. It's away from all the windows. It's a quiet location. And you can go out and buy some of these. I'm sorry, you can go out and pick up some of these um, wood boxes if you're lucky. Although a lot of people like to s collect these labels at the end of the boxes, so these are hard to come by now. Or you can just grab some of the paper boxes, the cardboard ones that come from the wineries, um, especially in the Finger Lakes here. Um, a lot of the wine stores are giving these away. 
And uh, you can just take your wine, lay it horizontal, and just slide it in there. Of course, as you start to build it up, it becomes a little bit fragile, so be careful that the bottles are all balanced as you put them in. And uh, close it up if you're using the wood boxes. And you could use any box, couldn't you? And just cover it up. That way it keeps light out, um, it keeps it still. And you know, I put a, a thermometer here about 20 minutes ago, 55% humidity, and we're just at 69 degrees. And this is the uh, middle of August, temperatures have been pretty hot outside, so not too bad. So I hope this video on how to store wine has been helpful for you giving you some information on the do's and don'ts and some of the important things to consider when storing your wine. Uh, in the weeks to come, we'll be having some additional how-to videos and uh, we hope you enjoy them. Um, until then, enjoy your next bottle of wine and I'm David from Wine Forecaster.